the CTFX Cinema. This week we watched Snatch. Right, Snatch. I was gonna say Push. Snatch. Snatch. Push was better. I don't even remember what Push was. Yeah, we watched Snatch with Brad Pitt and Jason Statham and some other people. Normally Brad Pitt would be a good thing. So, basically this movie is about two different groups of Two groups of criminals, and each group of criminals is split up into different subgroups, and they're each trying to commit a crime. One group of people's trying to rig a back, trying to rig a boxing match to make lots of money, and the other group is just a bunch of people all trying to steal um, a really big diamond for themselves. Listen to him. He paid more attention than me. I don't know what the movie was about, because I was lost. They lost me with the Amish guys at the beginning. They were Jewish. Whatever. <laughs> they looked Amish to me. They were, they were Hasidic, Jew, Hasidic Jews. Oh, I'm sorry if I offended any Amish or Jewish people. So. What did we think of the movie? Well, you hated it. I hated it. My first thing out of my mouth, as was the first scene, was, Allie, what did you do to me? Like that. Said with spite and anger. I love you, Allie, but what did you do to me? Yeah. Allie, Allie, come here. Come here. I'm gonna get close to the camera, you get close to the screen. Let's... Let's pick better movies. Yes. Please. Please. Uh, like, my main problem with this movie was, like, I had trouble following what was going on because there were so many groups of people doing so many different things. Too many people. It was... Too many characters. It reminded me of those romantic comedy movies with a bunch of different characters who really don't have minor roles, like He's Just Not That Into You or Valentine's Day or... I don't even know. It reminded me of one of those movies with all the different people doing their own thing. Too many people. And like, half the time I couldn't understand what the people were saying, um, because of their accents. Except when it was Brad Pitt. When it was Brad Pitt, a hundred percent of the time, I had no- I had no fucking clue what Brad Pitt said at all in this movie. His accent was so thick and bad, I couldn't understand anything he said. They said it was like supposed to be a cross of English and Irish, it just sounded like blah, 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 blah. The best part of this movie was the dog. The dog, yes. The dog was... The dog was okay, right? The dog was hilarious. They didn't, the dog didn't die, right? No. Okay, good. No, the dog was I hilarious. I hate movies where dogs die. The dogs... The dog ate, uh... The dog ate the squeaky toy and the diamond. Ah, uh, okay. Actually, for me, probably the best character in this... For the best actor in this movie was Jason Statham. I, I thought he was just... He was really good in this movie. Not for any, partic any particular reason, I just found myself enjoying his performance and enjoying his character more so than anybody else in the movie. And I'm not really a big Jason Statham fan. I'm, uh, not, I'm not really a Brad Pitt fan, actually. And I wasn't paying enough attention to the movie to know who Jason Statham is. Um, like, Brad Pitt, I don't know, I've never been much of a Brad Pitt fan. I think the only movie I've ever come out of that said, oh wow, Brad Pitt did a really great job was Benjamin Button. Oh, he was phenomenal in Benjamin but just overall, this movie was confusing, um, hard to understand, hard to follow. Maybe if they if they dumbed it down and maybe focused on just making a movie about rigging the rigging the boxing match or a movie about the diamond, it would have been better. You know, you could you could have two solid movies if you would split up, split them up. But just try it's like you half baked two ideas and threw them together and tried to make Heck, a movie. They could have made a movie and a sequel. Yeah. They could have had some of the characters carry over into the next movie. Like Boris the Blade. Instead of trying to smush them together. Yeah, like, uh, like Boris the Blade. He's like the one character who transcended both both lines of thought, of story, really well. Like, he was the only one that really affected both pursuits. But, yeah, it was just hard to follow, confusing. It was like a peanut butter and sauerkraut sandwich. Sure. Together, it doesn't work. Rating time. We should we should um specify that we we rate ours out of five. Yeah, maybe we should start doing an out of ten. All right, we'll do out of ten. We'll start doing it out of ten because you know it's confusing. Everybody else does out of ten. Yeah, we forgot about that part. All right, so I'll let you go first. 
That's not a, that's not a number. <laughs> yes, it is. It's negative one. Okay. <laughs> okay, if I have to say it one, if I have to give a number, then one. I'd, I'd give this movie like a four, four and a half. Out of ten? Out of ten. It's like a 45. That's an F. I know what. I Fine, I'll give it a two for the dog. Yeah, not, not the best movie. I would have given it a three if Brad Pitt was hotter in this movie. You could understand what he was saying. Heck, they took... If, if Brad Pitt had his shirt off, he might, we might have got a three. He had his shirt off in the movie. And I wasn't paying enough attention because the movie sucks so bad to even notice. <laughs> in the boxing matches, he had his shirt off. <laughs> The boxing matches that I didn't see because I wasn't paying enough attention to the movie because the yeah. whole time I was on my computer going. Yeah. Okay, so that's what we thought of Snatch. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. Or leave a video response to the original uh, posting that Allie put up and maybe you'll be, and, you know, get yourself in the, get yourself in the video. Get yourself seen. And we're Veg Couple. Again, thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment telling us, I don't know, saying asparagus rules. And be sure to check out our daily log. Yeah, so the, there's a button up here somewhere. It says subscribe. You just go ahead and click it, and you'll I get it. I think an, it's over here. Is it over here? Or is it over here? over here? I think it's over here. I think it's over here. In the comments. He's pointing the right way. Nag, nag, nag. Nag, nag, nag. <laughs> Come on, honey. <laughs> hey, you're the one that wanted to film the review. Remember that. Hi. Hi. Welcome to the CTFX Cinema Club. We're, We're a veg couple. I was gonna say, you stole my line. Fine, we'll start over. Well, I, I do. I, I'm the director. <laughs> Fine! Get off my set! <laughs> Hi, we're a veg couple. Minus one, because I had to throw Jen off the set. I'm back. <laughs> you gotta edit this. <laughs> I do, don't I? Hi! I forgot my line. <laughs> Revenge couple. Try it again.